Governor Mike Parson is tripling the number of mutual aid ambulances that provide long haul patient transfers. The governor says this is to help reduce the rising COVID caseloads on hospitals. Abby Dodge joins us live now from Independence, where this crew will be based. Abby, how many people are coming here to KC? Well, Carolyn, in the Kansas City area, there's going to be about 15 extra paramedics and EMF staff. They're going to report here to the American Medical Response offices in Independence. Now, we talked to the mutual aid coordinator for Region A, which is what Kansas City is in, and he said that these extra boots on the ground are going to be used to transfer COVID patients. This is in an effort to take a little bit of the weight off of local agencies. They've been doing the same thing in Springfield recently. Some of these transports can take up to nine hours to get the patient where they need to be and then get traveled back here to the metro. We spoke to one of the people making this aid in Kansas City possible. He says there is a need for these extra five ambulances. The resources across the region are, uh, the demand has been higher uh, because of not only uh, COVID, but other emergencies across the region. And so these resources that are being made available will be very helpful, not only for uh, local governments, but also for the healthcare system to help support the hospitals and healthcare system in our region. Now, these uh, drivers that you're going to see behind the wheel of these ambulances, they're coming from all across the country. We're going to tell you more about this effort coming up at 6. Live in Independence, Abby Dodge, KC, TV5 News. Thank